folks, Jim Kelly is an American icon. He started Enter the Dragon with the legendary Bruce Lee and has grown such that you cannot say the words Bruce Lee or Enter the Dragon without in the next breath saying Jim Kelly. But even today, this martial arts star can still throw a punch. And he's very good at it. <laughs> How you doing, my man? Great to meet you. Hey, yeah. man, you get me out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> Hadn't done a long time. I gotta, okay, how hey, you doing? I'm excellent, excellent. Good, Enter good, the good. Dragon, how has it, first of all, changed your life? And over? Um, how did it change my life? It put me on the map, basically. That's what it did, it put me on the map. Because that was my second film. Wow. My first film was Melinda with Calvin Lockhart. Right. And um, that was my, my first film. And, uh, but Bruce's film, Enter the Dragon, really put me out there. How did you come to know Bruce Lee? From the movie. Oh. But I was looking for him before that. In 1970, I was looking to train with him. And I went down to Chinatown. I couldn't find the school. So uh, I found out later that uh, he had left for Hong Kong. So I didn't get a chance to train with him, but I would have. How have things changed? I got a chance to train. I said I didn't get a chance to train with him. I didn't get a chance to train at that time, yeah. but on the set, in between shoots, and uh, we, we trained quite a bit together. Obvious. What was it like working with him on the set? And did you know the end of the dragon would become the legendary film that it is? I mean, just so amazing, you know. No, we didn't know. We just we were just trying to make a great film, a good film, a very good film. Mm -hmm. Bruce, my Bruce, uh, John Saxon, myself, but uh, we didn't know. We didn't know. Uh, what do you mean, remember most about Bruce Lee? that we had similar struggles as a minority, mm -hmm. myself as a black man, and Bruce as a ch Chinese. Uh, Something people we, don't talk a lot about. You know? Oh yeah. They don't. No. It, it, you know, basically, uh, Bruce called hell. People don't know that. He called hell. They didn't want him in Hollywood because he was, and he was Chinese. The uh, script, uh, not the script, but the uh, TV series, uh, what was his name, Kung Fu that David Carradine started. No disrespect to David Carradine, but that series was written for Bruce Lee. The writer wrote it for Bruce Lee. And he went to Bruce and said, look, here it is, read it, tell me if you like it. If you like it, no problem. We'll get it, we'll get it done. So Bruce read the script, called the guy up, said, hey, man, I love it, I wanna do it. So okay, no problem, Bruce. We'll, I'll go get the money. So he went to the major studios. The studios loved the project, said, hey, everything's good. But we just can't have a Chinese guy to star in America. So we got to get a white guy and make him look half Chinese. Oh, jeez. So, but we don't want Bruce because he's Chinese. We can't, right, we can't, we don't want to project the Chinese guy. Even though he's the guy that has the expertise and the talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was written for him. It was written for him. So uh, they said, that's what happened. He didn't get it. David Carradine got it. And, and at that time, Bruce... Uh, was uh, really in a little trouble as far as trying to get things done in Hollywood. Not a little trouble, but he, financially he was, little, he was in a little trouble. So he left and went to Hong Kong. He had, he had a good friend over there um, that said, hey Bruce, they're not going to give you a break, man. You better come over here and you and I can make some movies together and we'll make you a star here first. And that's what happened. How things changed since then, both for African American men and Chinese American men, like, uh, have things gotten measurably better for yourself or for us um, in general? I mean, yes and no. Yeah. You know. I mean, um, we have President Obama who, you know, but I mean, beyond. Yeah, well, well, that, well that's interesting, President Obama, yes. Um, let me see, where should I start? Um, as far as um, black, well, actually I broke the barriers down for black yeah. martial artists, yeah. for black martial artists. I broke the barrier, and, uh, but still, it's not where it should be. It's not even close. For Chinese, are, uh, are, for Asians, are blacks in America. What do we need to do to move it forward? More conversations like this that are online that people can, can make people think? Or? I thought, well, you, you were talking about Obama. That's, mm -hmm. I never voted in my life. Mm -hmm. Never. Mm -hmm. I've never even registered in my life mm -hmm. before 2008. Nice. I never registered. Nice. Right. Okay. Yeah. And so, uh, but of course, I registered in 2008. Did you think? Do you think that would happen before Barack? Do you think we'd actually see a black president in America? I never. I, you know, of course not. I didn't. Yeah. Not in my time. 
No. I don't believe there's too many black people that would thought that either. <laughs> yeah. Not in our times, you know. But uh, but yeah. So I registered, you know, and I voted for Obama, but. I didn't really vote for Obama for political reasons. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. voting for Obama for what you and I are talking about right, right now. Absolutely. Right. For that that image and that mm -hmm. oh maybe uh, for uh, our kids, black kids, yeah. for black kids, and for uh, the world, people mm -hmm. of all colors, they can see here. Oh, here's a black man, and he can raise the level of racism in America. Mm -hmm. Raise the level of the conscience of people that people have towards negative things towards right. people in America. Of all nationalities, and you see a black man there. So that's the reason I voted for him, because I thought he'd just take it to another level and say, open some eyes up. Similarly, I noticed I've been standing here a long time, and I noticed kids come, it's really black kids, mm -hmm. and they look up to you. Have you been an influence for more African American kids becoming, getting into martial arts in a good way? You know, then has that, has. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. I, uh, and that's one of the reasons why I do these shows. They admire you. They really yeah. do. It's you amazing because you, they come up and you yeah. hear them. You can hear the stories from kids, from adults. Mm -hmm. I mean, adults, 50 year olds, 40 year olds, 30. They'll come up to you, and so, so many people say, Guy came up today with tears in his eyes because he was inspired by just seeing me on screen. Mm -hmm. That screen is powerful. It's, a power, it's very powerful. So he's. When they come and tell you that, that you changed their lives, you influenced their life, you motivate, motivate them, you know, that's that's what it's all about. So, how, how can people keep up with you and where you're where you're going? And you have a website? Uh, it's hard to keep up with me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you if you move as fast, you throw punches. I know this. <laughs> well, the thing is, you know, there's so many people out there that think that really think that I'm dead. Oh, I've got people what? come to every show and they say, Jim, I thought you were dead. How you doing? Excuse me. Hey, there he is. All right. Yeah. Yeah. How you doing? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Yeah. Thought so, you were dead? Thought I was dead. I mean, yeah. They did. What happened to you, Jim? What? I mean, people come come up to me at the show and say, "Man, I thought you were dead." So, uh, so what was the original question? I mean, God, God, oh, I got. Oh, you. I was saying, uh, how? Oh, you have a website? How do people? Uh, you know, how, how, how do your fans? I'm working on a website, yeah. but no, I don't have a website right now. But I will very shortly. All right. Hey, if you're a web guy out there. Contact this man somehow, and right. uh, we'll get set, set him up. All righty, and, and give him a good deal. All right, <laughs> all right. Yes, yes, Thank yes. you, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank okay. You.